Definitely right before the start is the most nerve-wracking for me. Um, you know, the days, weeks leading up to the race, you know, guys talking about nerves and things, which doesn't really affect me in any way. Um, I'm usually quite calm until you're standing on the beach waiting. It's Tissing and Frenchman Cyril Nouveau's turn to exit the water. Just over two and a half minutes behind Gore. Race on. As Tissing strips off his... But everyone is chasing this man, Reynard Tissing, one of the world's best Ironman bikers and with a big reason to do well today, a chance to secure his first Ironman victory on home soil. But ahead of them all, South African Reynard Tissing was powering away from the field and heading through the first lap at 60 kilometers. Behind him, the rest of the field were left in tatters, battling to keep pace with the South African powerhouse. Renowned for his ability on the bike and regarded as one of the best in the world. 15 years, I think I'm enjoying uh, triathlon more than I ever have. Um, I just love spending time out on the road, the lifestyle, the quality of life, and um, you know the traveling and meeting new new people, meeting, seeing new faces at every race you go to, um, and then seeing all the familiar faces that you meet all around the world. So. Um, you know, I've probably got about five or six years left in me and hopefully I can, you know, carry on racing at this level and keep enjoying it as much as I am. Something that couldn't be beaten was seeing a local hero leading the Ironman in South Africa. And Reynard Tissink was obliging the big crowd. His time for the 180 kilometer of cycling, a blistering four hours and 29 minutes at an average speed of almost 42 kilometers an hour. A message perhaps to the contenders at the World Championships in Kona later this year that Tissink would be more than just a top 10 contender. Point two kilometers of running and a possible first Ironman victory on South African soil. Tissink was still the clear leader, but even he was suffering in the heat and humidity of the noonday sun, and it was still early days in this marathon leg. Out in front, Tissink was looking every bit the winner, as some of the back markers were still starting their... It's a very mental game. Um, you just got to keep telling yourself why you're out there, keep yourself going, um, because, as I say, it is really easy to, to stop. There are a thousand reasons. Uh, my legs hurt things aren't going that well on the bike, maybe it's too windy, maybe it's too hot, um, but when you get to that finish line you'll know exactly why you've spent all those months training and why you've spent that, those eight, nine for some of us, uh, maybe 17 hours for the rest of the guys, why you've spent that time out there. It really is uh, worth every second of it once you reach that finish line. He had dominated from early on, had never faltered, and had realized a dream to win an Iron Man on home soil. For those who had come to watch, he was their hero, and they were his. This is one of the most awesome races I've done. I've raced all over the world, and the organization has been absolutely phenomenal. The crowd support was fantastic, and this is definitely one of the